Hello, it's your guy, Count Zero. I can't believe I'm doing the introduction, but here I am. And it is time for an unboxing video that is two years in the making. Specifically, I have received my Poly Mega. I ordered the deluxe set, which has all the units in it, back in 2022. Um, in like January or so, like late January. And it has at long last like, finally arrived. After a pandemic, after myriad um, delays, it is finally here. So I'm going to unbox it and show off what's inside. Pardon the blue jeans to the side, it's, la it's laundry day. Um, so let's open the box. I will probably at some point here switch to um, voiceover recorded on the computer. All right, we have here packing slip. Nicely covered with bubble wrap on top for easy and uh, safe shipping, so that's good. We have here a bunch of the modules. On top we have... Right here in the middle, it looks like. The base unit. So, sports compact discs and the relevant element modules. And speaking of which, we have four element modules here. We have the Mega Drive module, Mega Element, which reportedly supports 32X games, which is good, because I have Doom for the 32X. We have the Super Element, which supports the Super Nintendo and Super Famicom. The Turbo Element, which supports all of the PC Engine and relevant and Super Graphics and relevant platforms. And the power element. So this does not have the, this does not ship with the N64 module. I'm planning on, or I need, will be ordering that one later. Um, because I'm going to want, because while I have a, a actual N64, um, I have learned the hard way from doing my show that the N64 memory cards are, for lack of a better term, uh, a little deficient in some respects. So I'm going to do next, pause for a quick minute, but cut the box out of the way, and I will open up the actual base unit. Okay, we have the base unit here. Now the the base unit uses a micro uses um, for additional storage NVMe SSDs. I have a I picked up one earlier. Got two gigabyte Western Digital, so that should work nicely for this. And we have a kitten, a, a kitty as a special guest star. Miss Patacon is very confused about all these boxes on her bed. Well, to be fair, everywhere is a cat's bed. I think you were a special guest for the uh, Nintendo, uh, for the um, Evangelion box set unboxing. So, lid slides right up off the top. It's a sliding lid, no hinges or anything like that. A little bit of hope. Foam holding the base unit in place. Here is the Polymega. Optical drive port in front. In the back we have Ethernet. In this video, or sorry, uh, HD with the um, 
HDMI, power adapter, and SD card slot. On the bottom here is where I'll be installing the SSD. I will do capture for that in a bit. And then the module comes off the front. This is basically a hollow unit. It feels very light. It's still got some, got some weight to it, but not a lot. And there, here we have where the where the subsequent modules were latch in. And also inside the box, we have the controller, which, so out of the box, that supports Saturn and uh, N6, and the um, PlayStation, from what I recall. So it's not surprising that the controller that comes with it is using the configuration for the, for the Sony PlayStation. Button layout is the Xbox button layout, A at the bottom, B at the right. I don't quite like having the button icons be reflective. Um, they're, like, they're, they're depressed slightly, so I can feel them by touch. Um, they're a little spongy. I don't know if you can hear that. A little bit, nice click action there. Um... Triggers are similar to the PlayStation 4's DualShock 4. I think it's the name of the controller. Triggers. Nice click on the sticks. No paddle buttons on the back, which is fine. We have a USB adapt USB adapter here for the. Uh, device, possibly hooked up to, with a, to a computer. On the right we have the manual, or quick start guide, rather. We have the AC adapter. We have a USB cord. That's HDMI. Power cable and power and power brick. Everything you need. So I will be rearranging some stuff in my entertainment center so that can properly take the place of the Retron 5. And I'll do some gameplay capture off it later. Now, I'm not going to unbox all of the element modules on camera, but we'll do one of them as an example. Part reason for only doing one on camera is um, I'm currently resting the camera tripod on a couple of the other ones, so don't want to lose my, lose my uh, stand there. Yes, it's selfish. I don't care. So this is the Mega Element module. Now I have a blue, I have a Bluetooth N60 um, uh, Mega Drive controller. I need more of the Saturn configuration, and I have a uh, uh, blue uh, Bluetooth 8-bit Do con Pro controller or controller with, with the Super Nintendo configuration. So nice, decent build quality. This is definitely a Genesis controller, not, say, a Saturn controller. There are no shoulder buttons on top. Um, D-pad is designed in the um, in the manner of the uh, business controller, except there is a button in the D-pad that I can press the whole thing down in addition to moving it around. So that may be an uh, optional like interface thing. The rest of the buttons look pretty good. They're not... They don't have the convex concave thing going on for them that the six-button Genesis controller had. But they're also not as spongy 
as some of the six button Genesis controllers can get. We have another button up here, um, which probably to emulate the switch between three button and six button mode that the six button Genesis controller had. And start button in the middle. So, and, and then a home button for accessing interface functions for the device there. So I don't know how much I'm going to use this one against to have the option for a um, Bluetooth or a wireless controller. And for the module itself, my complaint is there isn't a cover in the back. To, to, so otherwise it's fine. It's a little light. Uh, there isn't a cover in the back for handling um, the contacts to making sure that those are safe and you, they don't get dust on them or anything. So I'm assuming that the optimal solution is to put everything back in the box, which is not an optimal solution because the because as you can see, the box is twice the size of the module. So probably instead what I'm doing is on a weekend making a container store run and picking up a something from there that will hold these and that may be the storage solution to have for for these because they're all going to be the same size because they all have to fit into the base station in the same way so that is the polymega i will get this hooked up at, um in the not too distant future and capture some gameplay footage off of it and Talk about what it's like to use. All right, then. So after I recorded that unboxing video, here's what happened. I hooked up the Polymega. Actually, I installed the SSD drive, SSD to the Polymega and then hooked it up, powered it on, started going through the initial configuration, and then it stuck, got stuck on a screen where it had the Polymega screen loaded... Um, on screen, probably making a logo, scrolling on screen, playing some chimes, and sc scrolling off. I'll probably drop the uh, brief, like, five-second clip of it here. And it stuck there for hours and hours and hours. And I went to the Polymega Reddit and Discord, went over what I've done, tried, first suggestion was removing the SSD. I did that. Issue is still on, and issue was still ongoing. So I ended up, I also disconnected the ethernet cable from the back and tried that and still no, no good. So I ended up emailing uh, Polymega support after about a week, to be honest. Uh, no, no major slide against them on that. They, the what waves of the console are coming out. It sounds like this is an issue that other people are having and people are getting, and they're somewhat swamped. But in any case, after about a week, they finally they got back to me and determined that the console needed to be RMA. So that is where I'm at right now. I'm shipping it off back to uh, Playmaji. The base unit on its own is an RMA, and they so they can reflash it and ship it back. And hopefully this time I can plug it in, boot it up, not on the Ethernet, not with the SSD put installed, and see if it works this time. Now, a late, uh, my minor frustration here is this. A later firmware revision adds the ability to do a factory reset by holding down two buttons on the device. However, it does not ship with that functionality. This is odd to me. My television, I can reset to factory settings. Um, with many of the computers I use or I support through my day job, everything can be uh, re-imaged. Um, we had, we put together an image with the manufacturer that we can just put on there and do it. There's a way consumer-wise to do it. Also, uh, the manufacturer has a way for you to flash the firmware off of a usb drive and have it boot off of that and this is something that's at a consumer level you can do so this seems odd 
in a weird way, I understand why this would happen because Playmaji is very, as from their language for the product and that sort of thing, resistant to or like trying to avoid situations where you could potentially side uh, get custom firmware on there, allowing you to sideload games or transfer ROMs onto the system or transfer ROMs off of the system on your based on your preference and i don't like that particular choice but i understand it so not happy with the fact that there isn't a way i can just hold down a couple buttons with how it came out of the box reset it from scratch and try it that way i would hope that at some point during the manufacturing process they'll be able to like like not maybe process, but we will get a subsequent wave of these where it has the it just ships with the firmware that has the factory reset button combination on it um installed by default but don't know when that will happen in any case i am shipping it off and once i get the actual console base unit back i will give my evaluation on what it's like to use it in person and get hands on with it. So stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. I also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any f future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.